It was lunch with the Wildcats today, a noon tip off as Arizona basketball was looking to end a five game losing streak to the Oregon Ducks. News for Tucson's David Kelly is at McHale Center where the results were not what Wildcat Nation wanted. No, no, it wasn't, Denell. Arizona loses a close one here today to Oregon, 63 to 61. The Wildcats sixth straight defeat at the hands of the Ducks. And my top takeaway in this game has essentially been my top takeaway all season long when the Wildcats have been in tight games with a chance to win at the end. They just can't seem to get a quality shot offensively to give themselves a chance at Stanford, at Colorado, today, they had 15 seconds after Chris Duarte hit this go-ahead uncontested three-pointer to give Oregon the lead, but James Akenjo just walks the ball up the court and there didn't appear to be any type of plan or urgency to get a shot here. The Wildcats eventually had to take a timeout, but when they did, there was only 1.1 seconds remaining, and after that timeout, they did get a look from freshman Kerr Creesa but he misses at the buzzer and the Cats lose again. Afterward, I asked head coach Sean Miller why this team continues to struggle to get a good look offensively in these late game situations. It's me, I, I have to do a better job. You start looking all the game, all the little details, little mistakes we did, and basically these little details cost us the game. One possession game loses are, are always the, the worst. There's no excuse. You got to win close games. Every losing team has their story that, you know, you lose this one by one point, you lose this one by two points. There's a reason you lose because you're getting your ass kicked. And there you have it an NCAA tournament feel in terms of the way that this game was played here today. Unfortunately, one in which Arizona in the end could not rise to the occasion to finish again. Your final Oregon 63 Wildcats 61. We've got you covered here at McHale Center. I'm David Kelly, News 4, Tucson.